Welcome to Pseudo Scientific. I'm Darren. And I'm Charlotte. Have you ever seen this puzzle before? Oh my god. Darren, you had one job. Okay, I'm sorry I forgot to put the puzzle together before recording, alright? Okay, clearly. Wait. But this is actually this is actually the perfect segue. Because this puzzle is called the Dirty Dozen. And today we're going to be learning how to solve it using a computer app called Burr Tools. Charlotte and I aren't exactly uh, puzzle nerds, but with Burr Tools, we can solve something as difficult as this within minutes. But not just any puzzle. But every puzzle. In existence. In the universe. So stick around to figure out how we're going to do that, and what this puzzle will look like in its entirety. And be sure to use your little puzzle-solving hands to like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get started. Hi guys, it's me from the future while I'm editing this video. I forgot to mention that we're not actually affiliated with any of the products that we use in this video. We just think they're really cool and we wanted to share them with you. So, without further ado, please enjoy. Yep. What am I holding? Well, this pretty copper colored square is actually a puzzle called the Dirty Dozen invented by Jerry Liu. It consists of 12 identical pieces that come together to make this waffle-like formation. Unlike other puzzles, this one is actually not held together by tension. Instead, it's self-locking, meaning that it won't come apart easily and you can shake it as hard as you can. If you think you're up to the challenge, you can buy this puzzle down below in the description box. Because the puzzle is self-locking, disassembly can be a little tricky, but not quite as difficult as putting it together. So what you're going to want to do is push these vertical segments into the corresponding holes as so. And then you'll be able to gently slide this piece out. You can repeat that with all of the other sides. Until at some point they can all slide out pretty easily. And you can just take it apart. Yay. So now let's solve the dirty dozen using bird tools. Go to burrtools.sourceforge.net if you want to download it for yourself. And here it gives a very nice overview of what Burr Tools does. It solves puzzles that are made up of glued together basic units. For example, pieces that can be made out of blocks or triangles. So go down all the way to here if you want to download it and download the version that is meant for you, your computer. And it'll start downloading automatically. Once you've downloaded Burr Tools, just open up the file that you just downloaded, and then open up Burr GUI right here. And you'll be led to a page that looks like this. To demonstrate how Burr Tools works, let me show you a quick tutorial using a slightly easier puzzle than the Dirty Dozen, a Soma Cube. So this is seven pieces, all made of little blocks glued together, and they can come together to form one 3x3x3 three by three by three block. So to start using Burr Tools, first let's create a new puzzle by clicking File and then clicking New. As you can see, there's many different kinds of space grids you can choose, and because these puzzles are made of bricks, or cubes I guess, just click the Brick option. There's many different options as we saw on the website, so you can create tons of different puzzles with this. So click OK. And now we have to create shapes. Shapes are going to be the pieces of the puzzle that we have, as well as the final state. So let's click New. And there's this nice grid here with a visual display right now, right here. So let's build this block first. As we can see, there's an L shape on the bottom, so we can just click to make the L shape on the bottom, and then move this layer one step up. And that makes you build stuff on top. 
so the one block on top. And as you can see from this, we've built exactly what it is in real life. Now you can just click another new to make a new shape. This time it's going to be green. Once you've got all of the pieces made in virtuals, you want to make a piece for the end state of your puzzle. In this case, for the Soma Cube, it's a 3x3x3. And now we want to specify what the actual puzzle is supposed to be, like what the goal is. So click Puzzle, and now click New for Problems. Now, here we want to click our end state, and click Set Result. So this means that the result of our puzzle is going to be this end block of 3x3x3. Now, with this still being selected, click All plus One down here, which adds one of all shapes except result to the problem. Now we have all seven shapes down here, and the eighth shape is the result. So what this means is, using all of the pieces down here, make this piece, and you're ready to go. All of the puzzle files I've used will be put in the description below. So now that you've got everything set up, it's time for you to find the solution. So click Solver here, and Start here will help you find all of the solutions. However, you have to click Disassemble first. This ensures that you don't have any fake solutions. Fake solutions are ones where everything would fit in the right place, but you just can't get them to that right place. Like, if you, uh, if you had a house, if you built a house, and now you wanted to get a piano in, but the piano can't fit through the front door, and what you should have done is you should have built your house around the <laughs> piano. <laughs> kind of like that, if you, if you get what I mean. So clicking disassemble means that it goes from the solution into the pieces. So now you can go reverse it from the pieces into the solution. So just click start. And boom, we found a solution. And now, using our real life example, we can solve it by moving this slider to disassemble it, and then moving it backwards to see how it's reassembled. Let's do this. It's solved. Now, let's try using Burr tools to solve our original puzzle, the Dirty Dozen. So, I've already built all of the models inside Burr Tools, as you can see here. The pieces and the puzzles are all set. And when I click Solver, you can check the move list, and here's how to disassemble it, which means we can reverse this process to reassemble it. Oh yeah, teamwork, baby. Yay! <laughs> yes. Right. The coolest thing about Virtuals is that if you ever want to make your own puzzle, you can. Just go into the app, decide the ending shape, decide what the starting shapes are going to be, and Virtuals will tell you whether or not your puzzle is possible or not. So pretty soon you can be just like Jerry Lou. And if you want to see more puzzle content, like what we just did, we have another puzzle, also made by Jerry Lou, called Lattice. Um, yeah, leave a comment down below and tell us if you want to see us solve this one, either just by ourselves or with Burr Tools. That's all for this video. Please be sure to like and subscribe. And comment down below letting us know whether you want more puzzle content or not. If you have a friend who's super into puzzles, share this with them, or use Burr Tools to compete with them yourself. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs>